Hi everyone, Ms. McCallman here. We are doing the pen and ink value scale practice demo. And I started in my sketchbook. I recommend doing this because the paper is a little bit better quality. For my value scales, they're about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch, but it does not have to be precise. I measured it out, but as long as you have six boxes for each of your value scales, that is fine. So that's just really quick going through the measurements. And I was really trying to measure everything precisely, but really if you have six boxes that are relatively even, the main idea of this is to get the value scale practice, not the measuring practice. Mine aren't 100% even. And now I'm labeling them. We have hatching, cross-hatching, Stippling, which is not on the worksheet, scumbling or scribbling. And then invent your own. And I have two rows for that. You don't have to do two. I just had an extra value scale. So hatching is just making lines one direction and I add more lines for each level of my value scale. They get closer and closer together. But the weight of the line is the same. It's not weighted line, it's just about how close the lines are together. And this is sped up. Cross-hatching is very similar, but you go the opposite direction. And I sped this up a little bit because it's very similar. You just add one a set of lines the other direction. So you can get darker values here. But this is very sped up. It took me about 20 minutes to do my whole sketchbook page. Stippling is just creating little dots and you add more and more and I sped this one up too because it takes a long time and you want to have individual dots you don't want to have little tadpole streaks that means you're not picking up your pen enough it's easy to get a little bit lazy with stippling but if you do it carefully it can create really nice values and you can see my head kind of pokes into this because sometimes you got to get close to see where you could add more dots. You could add them very close together, almost to the point where it's just completely filled in. But I recommend Maybe sitting down and creating these values while you're watching TV so you can really just spend some time making your values. Stippling does take the longest. Real time, I probably spent five minutes just on stippling. And now you get scumbling or scribbling, which is really fun. And I'm building this up across the entire value scale, similar to how we did for our pencil value scales. So the same line, and now I'm adding another layer of scribbles or scumbling. And then another. And I just continue like this. After doing stippling it's kind of nice to take a break and do a little bit more of a relaxing value technique and just build that up it looks a little bit messier but it also creates an interesting texture so kind of take that into consideration when you're thinking about how to achieve value using pen and ink but just like with pencil, the slower 
you are and the more time you take to build up your values, the neater it's going to look. Even in my hatching, I got a little bit scribbly by the end of it. And then for Invent Your Own, I kind of just had fun. I did some weird zigzags. It's not... It's kind of messy. I wouldn't use it in a final project. And then for my last one, I chose to do some weight, weighted line differences, which again is kind of messy. I like to stick to the traditional ones. And here is me speeding through the worksheet. If you choose to use the worksheet, you still have to add stippling. Even though it's not on there, it's in the assignment directions. So make sure you do the pen and ink value scale practice either on the worksheet or in your sketchbook and turn it in on Canvas.